starring June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and of course, Lassie. too soon. What's all the excitement? If you had been coming to regular practice, Jim, you would know. Mr. Martin heard that the big leagues were going to send some of their players around the country to coach the boys' leagues. So he wrote and requested that they send one to Calverton. Well, boys, Calverton is on the list. Yay! Now, the big league player will only be here for a few days. But while he's here, he's going to give us some baseball tips and suggestions, and he'll oversee the tryouts. Who's coming? Well, we won't know for a while. These players are visiting the various communities to promote public interest in and support for the Boys League. So come on, let's have a good turnout. Everybody home now and spread the word. Come on. Bye. 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 There's a really good Calverton on the map. <laughs> Boy, what a team we'll have this year. This will give you a great chance to get some pointers on your outfield position. I like being outfield. But this season, I'm going to try for shortstop. Oh? Calls for a heads-up ball. And I'm going to make glass in the team mascot. Just like that, huh? How about the other boys on your team? Why wouldn't they want Lassie? Didn't it ever occur to you that they might have pets of their own? But none like Lassie. Don't you think the proper thing to do would be to put it to a vote of all the teams? I guess you're right, Mom. Dad, is it true that Jim Spence's father is the biggest man in the county? Who said so? Jim Spence. Oh, he ought to know. Parents, players, and friends of the Calverton Boys League, I want you to meet our honored guest. Roy Campanella! Hi, everybody. All right, now, boys, look, why don't we just form a circle around Mr. Campanella and ask our questions one at a time? That's an idea. Let me in here. Let me in here. Which shot? Come on, now, boys, let's form a wide circle around here. First, I'd like to say it's a pleasure to be here in Calverton. And I only hope I can help each and every one of you fellas improve your game, too. Baseball is a wonderful sport. It can make you a better athlete and a better man. So go ahead and pitch your questions now. All right, you first, Bob. Mr. Campanella, does a player from a small town have a chance to get in the major leagues? Sure. Look, there's Mickey Mantle, Robin Roberts, Dizzy Dean. Those fellas are from small towns. And uh, myself, I come from Nicetown in Pennsylvania. And gee, that's no larger than Calverton. Uh, Mr. Campanella, there's something I've always wondered about. What does the catcher say to the pitcher when he goes out to talk to him? <laughs> I've had that question asked me a million of times. You know, sometimes I'd walk out there to give a pitcher a rest. And then sometimes I'd go out there and say, look, we have to pitch this fella up or down. And then if it's two out in the ninth inning and we have to get this other fella out, I'd go out to the mound and say, look, Don, we have to get this guy out to go home, so let's go. <laughs> Mr. Campanella, I've been Isn't it great? Yes. But and they've been at him for more than an hour. Yeah, well, isn't every day a country boy gets a chance to talk to Roy Campanella? Well, my dad thinks but I guess you're right. Not to a longer. So I was wondering, how could I practice shortstop while I'm out there? Mr. Campanella, I've got nothing. All right, boys, let's break it up. Mr. Campanella will be out to the field tomorrow, so you can all talk to him then. Yeah. Yes. 
question. Would you please write your name on my ball? Believe me, son, there's nothing more I'd love to do than autograph that ball. But I can't use my hands to write with yet. Well, then, could you just hold it for a minute? Sure, it'd be a pleasure. And I've got something for you, too, Mr. Campanella. Yes? This is an official cap of our boys' league. The C stands for Calverton. Oh, oh. I thought the C stood for Campanella. Now I'm officially a member of the Lego. When I get home, I'm going to make a special case for this ball and put it on the mantle for everyone to see. Gee, he has control and a good fastball. Do you have any other pitches, Bob? I can throw a curve. Paul, I wouldn't advise him uh, to throw curves now. Might ruin their arm at this young age. Let's have another pitcher, Paul. Oh. Let's see your fastball. Well, all pitchers have bad days. How about taking a couple swings for me? We'll give you another chance on the mound another day. Jim, come here. You know you look very good out there hitting. You got a very good swing and a good stance at the plate. I'm a pitcher, and I'm gonna pitch. There's one more tryout, Mr. Campanella. Where's the boy? It's Lassie. Lassie? Well, what position does she play? Oh, she doesn't expect to play. She's going to try out for mascot. Well, how about that? We have the Chicago Cubs, the Detroit Tigers, now the Calverton Collies. Well, uh, how does she try out for mascot? I'll show you. Head for the outfield, Very good. She can feel for batting practice. She can find lost balls. And watch this. Lassie, bring me the catcher's mitt. between teams, and she's a great cheerleader. Lassie, Calverton just got a home run. <laughs> and she knows how to keep the field clear, too. Clear the field, Lassie. <laughs> Make a great mascot, Timmy. Thanks. I just wanted to show you what you could do. I sure hope the team votes her in. All right, boys. That's all for today. Practice again tomorrow at the same time. Positions will be announced later. I just want to remind you I'm going to pitch tomorrow. Who says? I say. My father's one of the sponsors of this team, and he expects me to pitch. I'll ask Mr. Martin. He's the manager. You won't ask anybody. 
You do it, I'll slug you. Go ahead, just try it. Look, I just gotta pitch tomorrow. Well, that's up to Mr. Martin and Mr. Campanella. Wait! I'll make you a deal. What kind of a deal? Look, you've never had a bike before, and I've got two. This one and my old one. So, you pretend to have a sore arm tomorrow, and I'll give you my old bike. That wouldn't be honest. It's a business deal. You want a bike, and I want a pitch. I'd sure like to have that bike. But I don't know, Jim. Nobody will know. It's just for the opening game. What'll the fellas say? What can they say if you've got a sore arm? Well, just for the opening game. It's a deal. You have the bike as soon as the game's over tomorrow. <laughs> I'm warning you. You say one word about what you've heard and you'll be a yellow squealer. And besides, it's your word against mine and Bob's. And another thing. You tell him I'll see the last he doesn't get a single vote for mascot. I wish you could have seen it, Ruth. Good, eh? Uh, just great. You know, from the moment that Campy told Timmy what to do, he covered that hole between second and third like a veteran. Hmm. What did he tell you, Timmy? Son. Huh? Answer your mother. Tell her what Campy told you to do this afternoon. Oh. He said to do your best at all times, even if you're losing. And this helped you cover the hole between second and third? Between second and third? Timmy, come to the party. You're a hundred miles away. Come to think of it, you hardly touched your supper this evening. Huh? Timmy, you haven't heard a single thing we've said. I'm pretty tired. I guess last thing I'll go to bed. Night, Mom. Good night, dear. Good night, Dad. Good night, son. Come on, Lassie. Lassie, we've got to do something. Dad, may I talk to you? Of course, what's in your mind? May I talk to you in private? You know, man to man. Oh, that's all right. I can take a hint. Son. Well, I heard something today at practice. I wasn't spying or anything. It was sort of accidental-like. Well, you want to talk about it? Well, Jim told Bob he'd give him his old bicycle if Bob would pretend that he had a sore arm so Jim could pitch the first game. Bob didn't see me, but Jim did. Did Bob agree to this, uh... This deal? He said he would. Did you report this to Mr. Campanella? No. Well, this is a pretty sad situation. What do you intend to do about it? Jim said if I told anybody, I'd be a yellow squealer. And besides, 
Nobody would believe me against Tim and Bob. And he said he'd make sure Lassie wouldn't get to be mascot. Timmy, you know that it's wrong to offer a bribe. And you know that it's just as wrong to accept a bribe. And if nothing is done about this, the whole team will suffer. And a team isn't just one man. Then do you think I should tell Mr. Campanella? It doesn't matter what I think. It's what you think. You know what honesty means and loyalty. Then what shall I do? You should do what you feel is right. This is your team. And it's your problem. And it's your decision. Anything I can do? No. There wasn't anything. Lassie, you cut that out! You better not do that again, understand? Face it, Timmy. Lassie just wants you to stay here. She wants me to tell you something. Well, why don't you then? Well, okay. You see, it started out like this. Do you think he'll talk to Mr. Campanella? If he's made any decision, he didn't tell me. Me either. Well, we'll find out when we get there. <laughs> My dad said for me to do what I thought was right. You did, and it was right. You go out there and get in a little practice. It's my problem now. I'll handle it. Gee, thanks, Mr. Campanella. All right, boys, gather around. Fellas, before every game in the big leagues, we have a meeting. Today, I'd like to talk to you fellas before you go out and play your first game. There will be two teams on that field today, but only one will be able to win. Regardless, win or lose, that doesn't matter. What really matters is, is how you play. You know, baseball is a highly competitive sport. It'll bring out the best or the worst in a man. It builds character and sportsmanship. You play as a team, you're all working together. It's a wonderful feeling. I would like to believe one of the reasons I came through my accident and being able to be here with you boys is because I've always been a team player. So go out there and give it everything you've got. You're right, Mr. Campanella. A player should do what he can do best. Right. 
Bob is a better pitcher. So I'll try and hit a couple. Go out there then. Let's go. Thanks, Mr. Campanella. Thanks for everything. Timmy, it wouldn't have worked out this way if you hadn't done the right thing. That was on account of my dad. Yes, but Timmy, if all of the boys do the right thing, then the team will do the right thing. Regardless, even if you lose, you'll win. And look, don't worry about Lassie. I have a hunch she'll be elected mascot. Yippee! Okay. <laughs>